Hey everybody, Corey here with Xbox Tavern with another review. This time I'm going to be reviewing not a game, but a game's DLC. Yes, I'm talking about Ollie Ollie World Finding the Flow Zone. So this is the second and I believe the final expansion for Ollie Ollie World. If you want to hear our thoughts on Ollie Ollie World in general as the base game is, Go and check out xboxtavern.com and look for Mr. Jake Plant's review of Ali Ali World. Now back to Finding the Flow Zone, the latest DLC expansion. You are going to need to progress in the main game up until the at least the first level of the Burnt Rock phase, which is, as much as I can tell, about almost half the game. Basically, the first level of Burnt Rock teaches you how to do grabs, and they want you to get at least through that point before you can start and activate the latest DLC levels. Now, the DLC is a chunk of content that is going to be pretty much like you expect DLC to be with Ali Ali World. It's going to be more levels of the game. However, these levels are going to add another mechanic. They're going to be more difficult in order to pull off those massive combos and to complete all of the challenges. The main shtick of finding the flow zone is the levels will have wind zones, I guess is the best way I can describe them. There are going to be sections of the levels as you ride through them that have wind blowing in a direction. That is going to propel you to go up a ramp quickly, fly through the air to make a huge gap, and things like that. Now just like all the other levels of the game, you're going to be having different goals to hit. Yeah, obviously you're going to want to complete the levels, do sections or if not the whole level without using checkpoints, doing other little squid challenges, which, you know, differ between each level uh, and then beating the, the heroes in the levels. All of that exists in this expansion. This is literally more of the same with this game. Now, the flow zone that you're going to be navigating is 17 different levels. Uh, most of these levels uh, while they have the challenges, also have these map pieces. And you're going to be having to collect a certain number of map pieces in order to progress through the flow zone. And as you play, you'll see what I mean. So if you aren't collecting these map pieces in the levels, uh, you will have to go and replay them uh, again in order to get enough to kind of unlock the next layer, if you will, of these flow zones. Ultimately, you get to the very end and uh, you have this... Uh, trophy you're trying to win so you just have to complete the last level but in order to get there you do have to do a little bit in the prior levels now they also introduce burly routes in this game so if you've read the other review and you've seen this game uh, there are different routes you can take uh, that get you to different areas there's another mechanic in these levels where you can switch the route at different junction points and do the burly route so this will be uh, just an alternate route in that level now this piece of content just these new levels took me about an hour to run through from start to the very end of those new levels however there is a ton more that i can do outside of that hour that simply got me from beginning to end what ollie ollie world is kind of all about is easy and fun to play hard to master right so really the juice of the content is going to be replaying these levels, perfecting these levels, getting all the challenges done and unlocking all of those outfits to your heart's content. So while you can and seasoned veterans of the game can definitely get through the game more quickly than I, that piece of content, roughly 18 levels, took me about an hour uh, just to mainline it. Certainly there is way more content here. Uh, that I can go back and do uh, in the replayability factor of this game. But that's it. That is the Finding the Flow Zone DLC expansion for Ali Ali World. More of the same, which is not a bad thing. I had a fun time playing these levels. Uh, I really like the wind aspect of the different DLC levels to propel me and push me to these new heights and distances. And it's exactly what I kind of expected from an Ali Ali World DLC or expansion. With that said, make sure you go over to xboxtavern.com to check out this written review. Check out Jake Plant's Ali Ali World base game review while you're there and all of our other reviews. And I'll see you in the next one.